I love the part when I was like, ah! Give me a little kamikaze. Give me a little bonsai. Wake up in here. They're going to the land where the code of the ninjas began. But I said, you are not Japanese. I can do it now. For the first time, the true story. Welcome Japan. 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 I'm nothing but a worthless gaijin. Hey everybody out there who is watching or I guess listening to this podcast. My name is Tikyo Sam. I have a YouTube channel here where I just talk about anything Japan related. Uh, and I upload six times a week. Anyway, um, this year is 2017, and I would like to start doing a podcast called, well, I don't have a name for it yet. It's basically a podcast where I'll be interviewing uh, one gaijin from each of the prefectures here in Japan, and they'll give us a little history about themselves and basically just like overall story and just coverage of their prefecture that they currently live in. And just compare and contrast between there and Tokyo. And、uh, yeah. So, anyway, today,、uh, so let's get into it. Today,、uh, the topic is Shizuoka. And we're interviewing a good friend, a very sexy,、uh, another big guy individual like myself, Mr. Molly. Mr. Is it Warmouth Strat or is it w- Walmouth Strat? Warmouth. Warmouth. W A R. W A R M O T H. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a brand of guitar parts. Oh, oh okay, okay. It's guitar、yeah. parts. But、yes. I've been able to change my name to Mully on, on YouTube. My,、yeah. my URL stays the same. Okay. But I've been able to change my name to Mully. So if you just search Mully, it's, it's there. Okay. Awesome. As, as Victor says, you know, one of those names that nobody ever remembers, right? w a r m o u t h Strat.、So. It's kind of hard. It's Strat. Like Strat, like a.、Uh, yeah, Stratocaster. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're, we're joined here today with Molly.、Uh, he's, he's one of the well, one of the few people who have lived in Japan longer than me. I just am going to be hitting my 10 year mark in June. And,、um, and anyway, J- Molly's lived in Shizuoka for how, how many years have you lived in Shizuoka now? 26. How, have you lived in any other prefectures besides、uh, Shizuoka? I was in Aichi Prefecture for about three months. Yeah. So it doesn't count. And so, okay, so mostly Shizuoka. Well, that's yeah, good yeah, though. We yeah, have a, yeah, I've been here the entire time. We have a Shizuoka veteran then. So,、uh, this is、yeah. going to be a very interesting podcast. And where, I don't know if this will come up later,、yeah. but where I'm living now、yeah. is literally 100 yards from where I lived when I first came here. I've moved around a couple times within Shizuoka, and now I'm right back where I started. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm in the same neighborhood. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, Wait, so. The、uh, second so, wife. Oh, a second one. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll、nice. get to that, right? Awesome. Yeah, we're going to get to that later on the podcast. But,、uh, Set him up and knock him down. Hell yeah. So we've covered your name. It's Warm Off Strat. And,、uh, on, or Molly. If you guys just search Molly in Japan, I'm pretty sure he'll be coming up if you search on just YouTube. Just search Molly. M U L L Y. Don't need the in Japan. Just okay. Molly. Okay. And so,、uh, Molly, we just want to go into like, a little personal history about you、uh, and ask some personal questions before we get into about the prefecture, just so we can know. Uh, who's giving us this story about?、Um, sure. Pre- so I'm going to ask you a couple questions. I'd like <laughs> to have them answered immediately. Oh, that's my Arnold impression. Okay.、Uh, okay, so、um, first off,、uh, and try to answer these. I'm going to be shooting out a lot, so try to answer them kind of fast and quickly, please.、Um, okay. So、uh, your name's Molly. Why?、Uh, can you tell us like three hobbies that you have?、Uh, playing guitar. Yeah. Uh, play, playing pool. Playing pool.、Okay. And of course, you know, videos and podcasts and stuff. Videos and podcasts <laughs> and stuff. Awesome.、Yeah. Um, and again, can you just tell me how long have you been in Japan? I've been in Japan for 26 years. 26 years. And、yeah. uh, how, how old are you right now? I'm 48. I'll be 49 here in about three weeks.、So、when did, what, exactly how old were you when you moved to Japan? <laughs> Sorry. Let me、I、get my calculator. 23. Yeah, 23. 23. Okay. Yeah. yeah.、Um, Uh, what, what are you currently doing for work right now? Like, what, I'm teaching. What you... I'm teaching. I, I, I work in an elementary school and I teach privates. Okay, awesome. Teaching. I,、yeah. I, I teach my privates. I teach my privates sexually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and、uh, awesome. Okay, so,、um, and so Molly, where, where are you? F- well, are you from America, right? Where in America are you from? I'm originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. 
Oh, uh, Drew Carey. Nice. Oh, is he from Cincinnati? Yeah, he had a whole TV sitcom where it's all about living in Cleveland, Ohio, or Cincinnati, Ohio, or is it Cleveland? Uh, it's probably Cleveland. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, you're, I think you're thinking of WKRP. Um, uh, maybe WKRP yeah. in Cincinnati. Or you may be a little young for that. Uh, probably. I, I, okay. I, I'm an I'm an '86 baby. Maybe that's. Uh, but Jesus Christ, you were born in 86? Yeah, yeah. Mother fuck, man. I was graduating high school in 86. I just, well, I mean, like, you know, yeah, I guess you are almost like 20 years older than me, but like, hey, hey. you know, I just turned 30, to, 30 uh, like five <laughs> days ago. I'm an old man now. Oh, there, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Molly, uh, um, so are, okay, let's talk about relationships. How, how are you married? Are you single? What's going on? I'm married. I'm on my second marriage. Nice. Uh, yeah. Both both have been Japanese. Okay. Because uh, I know you're getting to that one. Uh, yeah. My first wife. Uh, yeah. Well, this is going to lead in some of the other questions. You want me to just go ahead and oh, do I'll this? Just give like a, no. Can you just give a brief thing? We'll we'll go over it later. But just uh, okay. So if your current uh, yes, wife, I'm how married. long I'm have married. you been married for? Uh, blah, 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 eleven years. Okay. Because you guys, I already I know this, and I've met Molly and his wife multiple times in person. And he's married to like one of the most nice people I've ever met in my whole life. Well, at least in front of me, she was nice. I don't know about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's a sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> She's like the most coolest. I hope if I get married, ever, uh, I have a cool wife like Molly has. Uh, so, Molly, uh, we'll get into more of that stuff later. But, so Molly, how's your Japanese level? Can you, like, read, write, read, speak okay or whatever? Or? Uh, hiragana and katakana are fine. Kanji's very, very sketchy. I mean, I can read, like, the street signs where I need to go. Yeah. Uh, but like to sit down and pick up a newspaper or read a magazine or that cup of shit that you got sitting on your desk over there, that 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 the thing stuff? over there. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I couldn't read that. I don't think. Nah. Uh, my Is speaking ability is not too bad. Um, I wouldn't say I'm 100 percent fluent, but I can go out on my own and, you know, I do shopping and you I can, can talk on. the I can talk on the phone with people and stuff like that. You can like if your Internet screwed up, you can call and go through tech support kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, not now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So, uh, what were you, what were you doing before you came to Japan? Uh, I, I was actually a printer. Like you I, mean working at like a, a print a printing, printing company? company? Yeah, yeah. I worked on a printing press. Yeah. Oh. I was... worked on a eight color web press with five other guys. I was like the the low guy on the totem pole. What do you, I mean? Is that like making uh, like posters or billboards or something? Or yeah, you know, magazines and papers oh. and flyers and all kinds of stuff. I mean, this was like like the whole printing process was like it was like a two hundred foot long machine. I mean, it's like a big web press. Wow. Big, big rolls of paper that you have to put on with a forklift, you know? Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. Shit. So what, uh, so how, how did you end up moving to Japan? Like what was the whole process and everything? Uh, well, before I was working in that printing company, I worked for another printing company and this Japanese girl came to work there. She was from Gifu. Oh, okay. And, uh, when we had our company picnic, she brought one of her friends with her, another, this other, this other Japanese girl. And, uh. Six months later, me and that girl were married. Uh, was it just like a very fast kind of hot passion thing, or was it like you guys were? Was she like was, really? Were you both really wanting to get married, or was it just kind of? And I will not lie, I begged and begged and begged to get her to break up with her boyfriend and go out with me. Really, that's and, awesome. Uh, you know, and I just, you know, I just kept going after her and kept going after, her, and then uh, she uh, she had tickets to go see the Stones. This was like in '89, oh, and wow. she she calls me and she says, "You want to go see the Rolling Stones?" I'm like. Yeah, I got it. Um, <laughs> and six months later, we were married, and we came over here. Her parents wanted us to have a Japanese wedding, so we came over. We were here for a month, and I liked the place. I wanted to come back for a year or two, and here we are. Wow, okay. Divorced, so, you know. And How long were you guys married for? No comment. Okay, no problem. No problem. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, But you've been in Japan for 26 years since then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you could pick three reasons besides getting married on why you moved to Japan, like what would they be? You know, Sam, I, I was looking at that last night and I really couldn't think of anything. Like when we came over here for vacation, mm -hmm. when we did that wedding, there was just something about the place and I mm -hmm. knew I wanted to be here. And like when I was younger, I've always been interested in Asia 
yeah. and Asian Asian women especially. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And uh, <laughs> yeah, just uh, when I got over here and saw Japan, I really liked it. I liked what I, you know, I liked the way people were living. I liked the way people did things. I thought, well, you know, I'll give it a try for a year or so. And was there anything like maybe like the food or, or anything? Like I loved the food and I loved kanji and and comic books and stuff. I mean, was no, there... it wasn't anything like that. You know, and probably if I had been in Tokyo, I wouldn't have had the same feeling. Mm, yeah, it's a little too busy because I'm like from a small town in northern Kentucky. Yeah, right? I'm, I, I'm I'm was born in Cincinnati and raised there, but moved over to Kentucky when I was in like junior high school. So that's kind of like home for me. Okay, and I'm from I'm from a city like five thousand people. Mm, okay, you know, so that's... and yeah, right, Mayberry, right? Yeah, so it's very. So, so it was kind of like moving from one small familiar place to another small familiar place. You could kind of, it kind yeah. of meshed. It meshed. Yeah, well, she, yeah. She, she says to me, "Oh, it's a small town I live in. There's only a hundred and twenty thousand people." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah. What? yeah, it's so small, right? It's like yeah. New York City to me, babe." You yeah, know? there's there's a guy, there's a viewer of mine from uh, he's from Ireland. He was he came over here on jet. He's still on jet. He just barely got here. And he's living in a town full of only like five thousand or two thousand people right now in Hokkaido, and he right. says it didn't have a history, doesn't really have a big history, and it's gonna not have any after like a couple of years because everyone's <laughs> yeah, moving right. out of there. Yeah. But I, uh, yeah, I get, I, I don't know. When I lived in the countryside, I just couldn't take it. I mean, I lived in the countryside in Chiba, and I was just, it was nice, like the the frogs at night with the with the rice fields, and I don't know, I just felt so lonely. I guess if I was married, it would have been a lot better because I would have had companionship, but. I don't know. In Tokyo, I like the fact that I can go and meet anybody. Yeah, I can't. I can't do the city life. Yeah, nah, I get you. I mean, sometimes, like my my Japanese like grandfather pretty much says all the time. He's like, "Oh, just wait till you're older. You'll want to go back." And yeah, but so anyway, sorry to get on to the next. Uh, all right, thing though. So we've we've heard a lot about Molly now. So you guys maybe have an idea of what, uh, you know, kind of like who Molly is. So Molly, if we could get into the meat and potatoes, uh, let's talk about the prefecture. So you ended up. So the next question is how you how did you end up in your prefecture? But you already said that you were yeah, there. For... Yeah, it was yeah my my first wife. This is you know we were she's from here and this is where we came. So what's your what what was your like one of your first jobs that you did when you were in Japan? Uh, the first job that I had, I was working in this little one room school, uh, only doing like two or three lessons a week, not making any money. It was hell, man. I did that for like like three oh. months. I didn't have a fucking dime to my name, man. Yeah. <laughs> was it one of those but places luckily, that didn't we were living it? with her parents, so we kind of, you know, that kind that helped, you know? Okay, yeah. Yeah, you know, because they took care of everything. And, of course, I'm a fucking moocher, you know? <laughs> but I, I, it's not what I wanted. Yeah, that's not but, something you should really brag about, dude. <laughs> but, but, then, but then I got a job in a, a Kiowa. A yeah. Place American club. It's totally gone. I was like my, I was here like three months when I got that job mm. and that's when, you know, it was a full-time job, good pay and everything. And then the, the, the mooch label kind of came off. Yeah. Well, it, well, and I was just you a ended slug. Up, you ended up getting a better job after, after those three months. Pastor. Yeah. Yeah. What Found a you... good job in a, at an A Kiowa. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. What's so, uh, so you've lived in Shizuoka for about 26 years. Was there any, um, I, I, I went to Shizuoka, well, I've been there a couple times, but I can remember once uh, or the first two or three times I went there it was to Shizuoka City, and then uh, there's other times where I've been to like Gotemba. That's in Shizuoka, right? And then yeah, but that's like an hour and a half from where I'm at. Okay, by I, car. I went to also my friend's my friend's sister's ex boyfriend, who was the valedictor- valedictorian of our university. He ended up getting into jet, and he worked in Yaizu. Okay, that's right. That's right here. Oh, you live in Yaizu? No, I'm right next to Yaizu. Oh, okay, yeah, and he was. I doing... can drive to Yaizu. <clears throat> I can drive over to Yaizu in like ten minutes. Oh, okay, well, that was a really <clears throat> beautiful town. Very simple, very like nice kind of fishing yeah. town. Yeah, that, that yeah, that's where I live basically. That's where Tomoko's from, actually. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. he's from Yaizu. Yeah. Yeah, he was making a lot, of... dude. Like he was only paying like. Each month or ten thousand yen a month, like for rent, and it was yeah, like, wait, in a nice townhouse and everything too. Yeah, wait, wait till you get down. Wait till you get to that part of this interview. Yeah, yeah. So that's um. <laughs> so anyway, that's just uh. Yeah. So I mean, um. But yeah, when I went to Shizuoka, it seemed really nice. I mean, you might be able to court, you know, double check this for me. But when I went to visit there, I've been there at least three times, especially in Shizuoka City. 
And when I went there, it was about like probably 10 plus years ago, but Shizuoka uh, train station was under construction and yeah. they had a bunch of hooker places. I just remember a lot of soap lands and hooker or like Kabakuras or something around the train station. Oh, really? No, yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Okay. I just, I remember I was like, I just wanted to get eat sushi and like I, we passed a couple places and Jack, the guy, he was like, we can't go in there. That's a, that's a hooker place. Oh, uh, yeah, they could be, you know, I never, uh, you know, I've been married my entire time here. You no, know, no, so I, don't, I, I don't mean that. No, no, go. but no, but I never like, <laughs> yeah, that was never my thing to go out and like, well, no, no, we wanted to get sushi and I was like, what's that place? That's an arcade. What's that place? That's a grocery store. What's that place? Hooker place. <laughs> what's that place? Hooker place. What's that? Right, right, God right. Damn, there's so many goddamn. I know there's a lot of pickup here. bars, you know, where they, where they pick people up off the street and take them in. There's like hostess bars and stuff uh, like that. Okay. Maybe. As far as the under construction stuff, that's yeah. all done now. It's okay. It's, yeah, it's beautiful there now. Yeah. So so let's get except, into, except oh, yeah. for yeah. if you're on if you're driving if yeah. anybody's driving through Shizuoka and you're coming from the Tokyo direction and you're going towards yeah. Nagoya and you're on Route One if you stop at the light mm. if you're if you're the first car at the light yeah look over to the right there's a sign on the window the museum uh, the Shizuoka Museum of Art. And the O, uh, Museum of Art, hmm. the O is covered by a telephone pole. It says Shizuoka Museum Fart. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yay. It's beautiful. <laughs> so I'll, I'll be sure to put that in the description for yeah, this. Yeah, put that, put that in the show notes. Podcast. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> hey, you wanted something exciting. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. So what's, uh? yeah, I'm enthralled here, people. Yeah, oh, right? yeah. Uh, so wait, where? So how many places have you lived, in Shizuoka? Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five or six, I guess. Um, started started off at my wife's parents' house, then we got our own place, and that place was getting torn down. We moved to another place. Hmm. Then I separated, got my own place, and Tomoko and I got married, and then we're right now. So six. Okay, six. So what what was your least favorite? What was your most favorite? Uh, the most favorite is where I'm at now. Okay. And then the the other most favorite would probably be my second place because it was the first place where we were on our own. Okay. But it was a one of them real little shitty mm. fucking tin foil houses. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the, 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 the mansions. Blue, yeah. The blue. Oh no, this is like the two apartments next to each other. And they're oh, like the blue, yeah. blue siding, you know, mm, real cheap. Not... There was no, there was no hot running water. And yeah. Man, fuck that dude. Yeah. Fuck it that. sucked. And so we, uh, her, her father put a hot water heater outside and we went up to one of the DIY stores and got some shit to cover the shower walls with. And oh, cause man. it wasn't made for a shower. It wasn't, you know, it was just, it was just wood in there. So we covered everything up and we got hot. Yeah, it sucked. Ghetto, but ghetto fabulous over there. <laughs> it sucked, but at the same time, looking back at it now, that was a really fun time in my life. You know, I was like 26, you know, 25, 26 years old, you know? Yeah. Well, my I mean, first place out of my own. And we're finally, yeah, well, I mean, like, you know, what is it? I, yeah, I admit. Would I want to live there now? No. No, yeah, no, no I mean. No thanks. Yeah, I'm 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 not like what is it? I'm not as old as you, but I'm definitely old enough to appreciate comforts and, uh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm not I don't need to I will gladly spend extra money for comforts is all I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. so what's uh so can you name any cool places in your opinion that you like? It doesn't matter what other people think, but in your 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 opinion, you since you've been there for a while, like now before whenever, what were some cool places that you like to go to that like were fun that you enjoyed? Okay. That we're not well, your house. Besides, because I know you this, say your this, house now. This is this is this is kind of what I was getting into before. Like, yeah. I don't think I'm your standard foreigner here. Oh yeah. Like I get more involved with the Japanese people than I do hanging around the foreign crowd. Okay. So like the first day I was here, I okay. I used to be a professional pool player. Okay. Oh, wow. So the, fir the first day I was here, I was at a pool hall. Okay. So you and. You know, pool. making friends at shooting pool, making friends at the pool hall, blah, blah, blah. 26 years later, I'm in a, I, I play guitar. I'm in a band. My bass player is a guy that I used to shoot pool with 26 years ago when I first came over here. We've been friends all this time, right? So hanging around the pool hall was a good place for me. Um, 
the guitar shop, you know, the local guitar shop that we used to always hang around at, uh, live houses, you know, going out and, you know, seeing bands play and gigging okay. and stuff like those. Those are the kind of things that I'm into. Well, can you like name, like, where are these places though? I mean, if you want to name them, you don't need to name them if you don't want to. So all these stalkers will come and look for you at these places. But uh, like, well, if, you, you know, if they the... have any name, if you want to give any names, please, well, by all means. No, no, I don't mind giving the names, but yeah. a lot of those places have closed down. They're oh, not well, there sure, anymore. Sure. Well, go for it. You know, um, the, the one place, the last place where I used to play pool, hmm. it's gone. You know, so I've got no place really near here. If I want to go, I've got to, and you know, I stopped playing a couple of years ago. Um, I go every once in a while just for fun. Um, I go out to a place out in, you know, about an, about 40 minutes from here, mm, uh, yeah. a place called Crossover. It's out in Yosh Haibata, I think. And then, uh, which very rural area, mm. um, the guitar shop, the owner died and, oh. oh, he actually, he actually died like two weeks before my wedding. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, you know, my local guitar shop's gone, and, you know, now, if, you know, all my guitar shopping I do online or, oh. you know, there's no, there's no good hangout spot anymore, you know? Were there any ever touristy places that you went to because it was, like, a any Shizuoka? What? Like, touristy places, like, you know, like, Shizuoka Castle, you know? Nah, it's, um, ne it's never been my thing. And Shizuoka, what's, sh what's Shizuoka... Shizuoka's famous for, like, something. What is this Shit, famous man, for? Shit, you know, I mean, I know there's a castle at Sunpu Park. Okay. Which is right in the heart of the city. Mm. I mean, I've been by there and I've been through there a couple times, but I never like stopped and took pictures or anything like that. Yeah. Um, there's a couple big shrines in the city okay. that obviously I've been to, but you know, 20 years ago, but they're still there. <laughs> you know. Well, what uh, about uh, like uh, Atami? So Atami's so part it, of. Oh local. shit! Fuck, man, that's way far from here. That's that's nowhere near where I'm at. But I mean, have you ever been there? I heard that place is really. Ah, Tommy. Famous. Um, oh, I may have been through there. I I couldn't tell you, Sam. I honestly couldn't. No worries. No worries. I mean, like I I mean, this is all about. This isn't necessarily a podcast about what specifically is awesome about your prefecture. It's more about interviewing people that yeah. haven't lived in Tokyo. Because yeah, I yeah. mean, me, I always give the suggestion: anybody who's moving to Japan, do not live in Tokyo. And I think just like little Ryan. Mr. Mr. Ireland, who just went up to his room, um, you know, he he considers. I told him when he moved here because he had a chance to go to Tokyo, and I said, "Don't go to Tokyo because if you like Tokyo, you're going to just stay in Tokyo because Tokyo yeah. is just the. Uh, it's got you know, you can get as many jobs as you want. You can tell everyone to fuck off. You can burn bridges easily. You can do whatever you want. But it's like, you know, you can also speak English every day and never have to use yeah. Japanese. And I told him. And so he, he's in Hokkaido. He doesn't even have internet. He doesn't have TV. So that forces him to go out and mingle with people and use his Japanese. And he considers it like incubation time right now. Where right. He's growing into an adult, a Japanese adult. Sure. Where he can be functional later. But um, it's not necessarily that I'm like, I need to know like Rachel and Jun uh, fucking and, like, go travel to a prefecture and show me all the awesome fucking cool place. I don't give a fuck about those. I'm just, I want to hear your experiences about <clears throat> stuff and Maybe, like, even if it's not yours, like, maybe uh, stories from your friends. Like, for example, like, where would you go to get laid? When when I lived in Chiba, I would go just to the fucking mall because there's no other places where people really congregated enough. And I would go there, and I would just hit on chicks that were shopping and, the, and or the train. The train was best because everyone's bored on the train. No one didn't have smartphones back then. And I would just go and hit on every girl I saw. Every one of them, and I know you're. I know you're very loyal. You know you're not like Japanese dudes, and that's being mean to Japanese people. But a lot of people cheat in this country, and I don't think you're one of those guys. But what about your single friends, Molly? Where would they go in Shizuoka to go get laid, or at least meet pretty girls and hold their hand and kiss I, them on I, the mouth? I honestly don't know, Sam. I don't know. I mean, there's like, there's like some drinking area. There's one place in uh, Shizuoka City called Diogaicho. Which is like a, a big drinking street. There's like a lot of bars and stuff. Maybe that's a good place. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. You know, like I, I've been, I've been on the marriage trains the entire time I've been here. I wish, you know, there's a part of me that wishes that I had been single through my twenties and been able to, you know, set them up and knock them down. You know, but, but you know, yeah. that's 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 just not that's not the way the cards were dealt for me. You know, well, um, I've well, never been. Okay. Why? I don't know. I, I don't know where the places are to pick women. I'm mean, Jesus Christ, man. If I got divorced now, fuck, I wouldn't know how to talk to a girl. <laughs> e Molly, you girl. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tarzan style. 
Take <laughs> this. <laughs> rook. Rook. Rook good it's, it's only three inches long, yeah. but it's a big round can of soup. <laughs> it's not, yeah. It's all about the tree trunk, the tree trunk baby. Yeah, they, right? Well, you know, when I first met my wife, she said she wanted 12 inches with pain. Oh, well. So I know. screwed her four times and punched her in the mouth. <laughs> but then, psh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, they, you know, it's like that old country song, you know? You broke my heart, so I broke her jaw. You know? yeah, yeah. But you, uh, okay, so you don't know where to pick up chicks or, nah, sorry. or where your friends go to pick up chicks. Sorry, if you guys are, if you're if you're on the hunt for pussy while you're here, it's sorry, I don't know where to go. I would say gather. going to the old guy show, going to down, downtown Shizuoka and hit the bars, you know? Okay, old guy show yeah. Shizuoka, hit the bars. Yeah. Okay, so well, let's move on. That to seems to be the cool spot, I guess. Okay. Let's move on to the other question, which is like, what is the hardest part about living there? Like weather, location, people, like comparatively to maybe where you're from back home. Well, the weather, the weather is actually kind of mild here in Shizuoka. It doesn't snow. Yeah. Um, Now, now, of course, you know, Shizuoka people say, oh, Shizuoka's warm. No, motherfucker. It's not warm here. (laughs) It's not warm. It's, it's colder than a motherfucker. I mean, I'm freezing my balls off right now and I got the heater on. Really, but oh, but man. it's not it. But it doesn't freeze. Yeah, you know. I it's mean, if I went outside, if, if you go outside, you can see your breath. It's cold. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so um, it doesn't snow. It gets. You know how the summers are here, though, man. I mean, mm, yeah. I mean, Tar- Tarzan was sweating this motherfucker, right? Dude, dude, fucking. Oh man, that's my. I I am I am uh, I am a very proud, uh, prideful, uh, person to say that I am a vampire during the summer. I don't go out. I sleep during the day, and I. Work at night yeah. if I can help it, because I yeah, hate man, yeah. yeah, Jesus Christ, man, this the heat here is just sweltering. Um, you know, things. You know, I would say probably summer, the summer weather. I'm not very happy with, but I think that would be the same unless I moved to Hokkaido. You know. Okay. Well, what about like, um, like location wise? Like, I really didn't like in Chiba how things were very spread out, and there weren't a lot of places to hang out and for people to congregate in, and that was like one big thing for me because I. It's not that I need that, but I want the option of that whenever right. like I'm I want to feel the mood. I don't sure. want to wait till the weekend to go sure. somewhere. Is there sure. anything like um like for example, I hate in Tokyo how everything closes at nine PM. Like everything. Mm. Like no like convenience stores stay up at night, but during summer when I was in my vampire mode for three months, I, I you know, I was working I had, you know, um I did translation during summer, so I could work whatever I wanted and I chose to work at night. And so, but everything's closed at night and like, it sucks. Cause I used to live in Colorado and New York and New York is 24 seven. You can go anywhere, you know, but it's like, it's here. I, that was a big hindrance for me. You know, nothing's open at nighttime. Yeah. You know, for me, as long as I got a place to, you know, the, like I, I, I hang out a lot at the guitar studio, mm, the music yeah. studio, you know, hanging out with the band and practicing and playing gigs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't have any problems as far as places to hang out because I'm just not that type of person. You know, I don't really go out and hang out at places. Yeah. Um, I, I miss my pool halls. You know, I wish that one that was right here near the house was still open. Mm. And, you know, I wish my friend hadn't died, but. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a, not a steep order to fix up. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, one thing, I, uh, you know, some people, like my friend lives in Good Money, he hates going on the mountain roads. To get everywhere because they can be kind of dangerous. Oh uh, yeah, I don't do mountain roads. But there are there any mountain roads in Shizuoka? Or is there any like oh yeah, driving oh, or whatever? Or? Um, I don't have any, hmm. but I avoid those places. Yeah, like we went out. I'm I'm into geocaching. That's one of my hobbies. Hmm. Going out and, and what, what's geocaching again? Geocaching is uh, it's basically a high tech treasure hunting game. Okay. You use the GPS on your phone to locate these things that people have hidden. Okay. And then you, you know, log it on their website and everything and all that. Um, uh, so there was one, oh, Jesus Christ, man. My friend and I were out one day. I was like, hey, I want to go get this one. It's up on top of this mountain. There's a mountain here that uh, they've got tea fields. And up yeah. on the mountain, if you're when you're driving from the, when you're driving down the highway, yeah, you can look up on the mountain and it's, uh, it's got the kanji for cha mm. written in tea. Okay. The tea, tea plants. So it's, it's like, it's literally like the kanji is spelled out in plants. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, crazy. That's plants. cool. Yeah. So, and there's a geocache hidden up there. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I've never been up there. Let's go. So we start up this hill. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. It was one of these one lane 
rickety fucking roads that doesn't have a doesn't have a guard on the side and you can just see right over yeah and i and i drive an suv oh okay damn and, so and it's and it's literally like hairpins you know winding up this fucking mountain and i i didn't make it to the top i got up and there was a place where you could pull off a little bit and i was like no we're 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 out of here yeah yeah I, I remember i screwed up my axle for my car by going up a place like that in chiba it wasn't fun. The car almost fell off, and it was a small K car too. So that's how small the road was. That's why I have a motorcycle now. I'm like, yeah, right. yeah. Thin roads are no. Your uh, thin roads, you know, they can't stop me. But yeah, I, yeah, I, st- I stay away from the mountains. So what's uh okay? So let's move on to the next part then. And you say, well, what's the fun? What's the most fun or easiest thing about living there? Because I remember <laughs> when you came to Tokyo, you're like, I fucking hate Tokyo. Tokyo sucks. She's woke for the win. And I'm like, well, fuck you, motherfucker. You know. Tokyo kicks your ass like okay what's so well, awesome back, about Shizuoka now you can back steal. in the day back yeah. in the day okay because now you know I'm almost 50 I'm fucking homebody yeah back in the day um there were a couple bars that I would go to in downtown Shizuoka hmm. um one was like the local gaijin hangout place okay. and it, it I think the bar is still there yeah but I don't think anybody goes there anymore I okay. I couldn't tell you I honestly have no idea hmm. um there was another place. It was a bar slash live house. Okay, nice. So like a little concert hall kind of. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Like it was just a regular bar and they had a stage, right? Yeah. So sometimes there was music or they'd have an open mic and you could, you know, bring your shit in and set up. So I used to go to places like that. You know, like Wednesday night was a big drinking night. We'd start off at Couscous and then move over to, uh, what was the place called? Bandwagon. Okay. Um, cool. And now I think there's a live house in that building in the basement now Mm. um i've been there once like a couple years ago uh but yeah you know it's pool halls and music studios for me i I, there's an italian restaurant that i hang out at but there's uh you know it's one of my guitar friends he's the owner okay so is is there any like restaurants or food places that you really like in chiba they had a great curry place and a great indian curry place and all the indian curry place was great they'd wrap curry like curry roux in like chicken skin and then fry it together. Oh God, dude, yeah, killing me. It was so good. No other Indian place does that, and they closed down because obviously, I guess a lot of people in Chiba don't like curry. But yeah, there's an Indian restaurant that we go to. I, oh, what's it called? I think it's Ganji. Okay, is it like Gan- a chain or is it local? Yeah, place? yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's a chain. Oh, okay. Um, okay. G- Ganji or some shit like that. Mm. Um, really good malai tikka, this chicken that they make. Oh my God. Oh, forget about it. Right. Yeah. yeah right. Um, so we, <laughs> we, we like that place. We actually, we, we were actually going to pick that up tonight for dinner and they were closed. Yeah. Right. It's still the fifth, right? Yeah. It's not yeah. the sixth yet. Everything's open from the sixth. Yeah. It. Um, the other place that we go to, we've got this Italian restaurant that we go to. It's out in Yoshida Joe okay. and it's called Lola. It's an Italian restaurant. Um, okay. The owner's a good friend of mine, a guitar friend. Um, I've known him for forever. Uh, great, great food. Uh, he he actually studied in Italy. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So it's one of those. It's, if you're if you're ever in Shizuoka, if you can get to the place, because it's just pretty. It's it's off the beaten path. You're not gonna you're not just gonna run into it. You're gonna need a car to get there. Um, what's it called again? Iola. I O L A. What what town is it in? Yoshida Cho. Yoshida Cho. Yeah. Shizuoka. Iola. Io, Io, Iola. Yeah, they've got a website. Okay. Well, I'll I'll find it later. I'll put it down in the description okay. down below for this. All right. And uh, the uh, if you're ever here and you get a chance to and you get a chance to uh, to to do that, um, best fucking lasagna in the world. Okay. I gotta. I gotta do. It. I'm not much of a lasagna guy, but I'll give it a try. And I'm talking. Uh, do, do you know Ed tomorrow that you know follows uh, follows everybody on? Yeah, uh, he came. He comes to the September yeah, thing fly, all the flies time. Flies in from Texas, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he always brings great fucking goodies from America too. He's like, right, right, everyone exactly. get it. I got exactly. I got some deodorant from him last time. It was awesome. There you go. I took him out there. Yeah. He he ordered the the one play lasagna and he started you know started in on it. And yeah. He finished it and he turns around and he goes, "Give me another." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's good stuff. Nice. So when you yeah. when you have so that leads into the next question, I guess. Yeah. Like, when and you that's have my answer. <laughs> oh, that's the only place that you're gonna bring friends when they when your yeah. friends come to visit Shizuoka. Where do you take them? You say Iola. We take them to Iola. Yeah. Yeah. Is we there, go out. We go out to Iola. 
what about any other place? I mean, like, what if I want to see some scenic shit? You have a car, and I'm okay. like, I want to see some scenic shit. Where should it? Can, where can we go? Well, obviously Mount Fuji. Oh shit, that's in. I mean, I knew that. Yeah, that's in. Yeah, Mount Fuji's right here. That's I in mean, like three of the prefectures, right? Or is that only in one? Shizuoka owns it. Oh. Okay. Uh, the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll <laughs> dangle my balls on your forehead with yeah. that one. <laughs> I, just, uh, I thought it was in Yamanashi too. I guess not, huh? Yeah, it is. It is. It's in oh. like it's it's in like three or four prefectures. Yeah. Ah, okay. I was right but, then. But you know, Yamanashi people say it's in Yamanashi. Shizuoka people say it's Shizuoka's. You oh, know. Okay, so it's like it's like you know. Like, yeah. You know, Tokyo, Tokyo Narita Airport is not actually in Tokyo. It's in Chiba, but everyone's like, oh, right. it's still Tokyo. Yeah. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, so Mount Fuji. Obviously, I'd go to Mount Fuji. What if I want to go on like a boat ride or something? Um, okay, where should I go? Like Yaizu, uh, or should I go somewhere else, like to Atami? You would go to Sudaga Bay, uh, which you could get to right in Shizuoka. Okay. Uh, Shizuoka, Shimizu, that area, uh, obviously up in Mishima and Atami. Because mm. um, that's all around that bay, right? Yeah. Um, now, the one thing, uh, I don't know if this is going to lead into this later or not, but uh, we'll see. Okay. I'll, I'll hold off till later. Oh, okay, okay. Well, so what? So what about like? So that's some scenic places. What if I want to go to like, um, like ah, okay. Nihon Daira in Shimizu? Nihon Daira in Shimizu. Yeah, it's that's... a great. There's a great temple mm. up on the mountain. You have to take one of them fucking cable cars over this. Okay. One of them things that goes across. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, like the really the slow, valley, very right? like wind. Strong wind comes by and you're dead, kind of thing. Yeah, and you're like a thousand feet off the ground. Yay, yeah, yeah, yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So okay, well that that's some scenic stuff. What about like, is there any um, Shizuoka's famous for like fishing and and like green that... tea and oranges are the big thing here. Mekong. Green tea and oranges. What yeah, about yeah, Mekong and green tea are the big thing here. When I went to Gotemba, there's a giant fucking mall there too, but it's all clothing places. Like, yeah, the that... outlet mall. Yeah. What what's that mall called? It's just Gotemba it's Mall. Go- or... Gotemba Outlet. Yeah. Gotemba Outlet Mall. Yeah. No, that was in that was in a zombie movie that I saw recently in Japan. That's yeah. how famous that place is. It's crazy. I, I've seen I've seen it like like the guys from downtown and stuff like that on TV being there. Yeah. Have you ever been there? I didn't. Yeah, find yeah it I've that been there a couple times. Yeah, but I thought it was really cool how they have like a really extremely tall bridge. It's like five hundred feet off the ground or so. Yeah, to, like, yeah. to get from the parking lot to the actual place. Yeah, I was scared. I couldn't like I I'm afraid of heights. When I saw that, I was like, Ugh, I had to fall back. Yeah, down. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I, I, I feel you, sister. Yeah, because, oh, you know, I, I hate heights. I hate heights. Oh, me too. Me too. I yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel you. Virgo, man. Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't stand it. You know, they took us. Uh, we went up to this place called Nagashima Dam. Nagashima we took... Dam. Is yeah, that in Shizuoka it... too? Yeah, that's here in Shizuoka. Um, okay. And and it's kind of a cool place to go to because to get there, you got to take a series of trains to get there. Oh, and okay. You would take a re- get this. You uh, this is kind of cool. You would take a regular train to get down to the SL train, which is the steam engine. Like one of the big, like one, fucking poofing black soot in the air. Yeah. One of the go junction motherfuckers. Right? Oh my God. You know, Arnold have the those. pig and all that shit. So you get down there and you get on this big black fucking steam train okay. and it runs, runs you up to Sinzu. Yeah. And when you get to Sinzu, man, you get on this little rickety fucking Disney world type train. Like, <laughs> and it, it winds up through the mountain and it's tiny, man. It's, it's really like, I take up an entire seat. That's for two people. Wow. That's uh damn. And, and yeah, I kind of like have to bend over when I'm walking in there a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm tall, you know, but yeah. Um, yeah. And it's, and you're like, you wouldn't like it mm-hmm. because, and I don't like it because you're yeah. looking over the cliffs and shit. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. And they're, and they're literally right out the window. Mm. If there was a landslide, you're gone. Yeah, yay, fun once times. You get up, once you get up to the dam, then you know you can take a little tour around the dam. Well, we were up there, and we walked across the dam, and we go down, and we have a little picnic in the park. And they're <laughs> like, oh, "Okay, let's go down." So we go down, and we go all the way down to the bottom, down to the road, and we're walking in front of the dam, and they're wanting to go up the other side, yeah. and we have to cross this bridge, and f- this like swinging bridge over the water in front of the dam. Is it at least I, secured? Like, you know, it's pretty, probably secured, right? You know, it's a son of a bitches. But it's like they got like double ropes or quadruple ropes or something. I, well, it's, Sam, it looked like Indiana Jones shit to me. God damn it. No. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going across that. 
So, <laughs> so I'm like, and, but you know, my fat ass doesn't want to go back up that hill. Right. Yeah. So you gotta, cause I'm at the bottom of the dam. Now I came all the way down now, to go back. I'm going to have to climb that fucking hill. Oh God. So well, I noticed there are some steps on the side of the dam. So mm. I head over to the steps. I said, okay, I'll meet you guys over there. Sam, I started up those steps. I got up about three or four flights and I look to my left and it's just looking out over the dam. And it's just like, it's like you're suspended in midair. And I was like, I froze. I was like, oh God, I can't do this. <laughs> and I went back down, like hugging the rail. Yeah. And I went way back down. I went, I went across the Indiana Jones bridge and went across the other side. And they were going up steps on the other side of the bridge. And I was like, oh, you gotta be shitting me. God damn it. Yeah. But I ended up climbing back up the hill. I, yeah, I wasn't going up them steps. Yeah, that's so that's cool. So we got like dams, we got like places to go fish, we got awesome temples. Yeah, uh, we got Mount Fuji. That sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, uh, there's a set of waterfalls up near Mount Fuji called Shiraito no Taki. Okay, uh, that's a pretty famous place for for you know visitors. Is that forest where everyone kills themselves? Is that in Shizuoka too? The Aoi Gaoka or something? Yeah, but I don't know where it is. Okay, but it's now, in Shizuoka. Remember, yeah, you remember Kurt, right? Softy, Softy Pappas, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's been there. Okay, that makes he knows sense. He always is. goes to all those yeah, different places. Yeah, he knows where the place is. I don't know where it's oh, at. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, in case you guys don't know, there's another awesome YouTuber called Softy Papa. He, um, I don't know if he makes YouTube videos anymore, but he's he... He's not. He's back in the States. Yeah, he's back in the States, but he had some awesome fucking just... I don't know. I mean, it's very unique. You're never going to see something like it. You should go... Uh, I'll check it out in the description. He basically walks around and he talks and does kind of his rambles, but it's very, in very the interesting in the forest. Yeah. yeah in the forest. Them. He's hiking. Like he's completely alone and he's just, with yeah. And it wasn't like on hiking trails. He was like, yeah, he, was, he was like out in the wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. Like carries bear spray with him and shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> fucking bears. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, Japan. Yay. Bears. He, he told me, he told me he carries a rice ball in his pocket in case there's a bear. He can throw it and run. Okay. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Would they really go for the rice ball though, or wouldn't they? Wouldn't they still keep chasing it? I don't know. The bears well, in Japan are a lot smaller than America. Well, though, un right? unlike you and I, Sam, Kurt doesn't have much ass, so they probably would have left him alone. Yeah, right. We're we're the fucking <laughs> ro you know roast beef over here. Yeah, it's... we look like fucking like Bugs Bunny, man. When they look, <laughs> they turn into a chicken on a plate. Yep. Oh man. So uh, yeah, I ain't going hiking any type of suit yet either. But that's yeah, it. right. Yeah, but that okay. That's cool. Thanks. That's really insightful. I'll definitely in uh, just to double check in in Shizuoka. I heard there's a really famous like wait is Hakone in Shizuoka too? Hakone, yeah, yeah, Hakone is in Shizuoka, and that's like an onsen town, pretty much, right? It's I think nothing so. but onsens. I think, I, I think so. They, I heard that they have a lot of resort town, resort hotels, and atami for like beach onsens. It's like there you're like be. at the hotel. And then, like, you look outside to the <clears throat> coast. Anyway, I'll have to look that up later. But... There, there could be. I've never – I mean, I've been to Hakone, but I've yeah. only been to, like, the place where the uh, – there's a place up on Hakone, again, where you take one of these rickety fucking – well, it's not rickety, but it's one of them them ropeways. Yeah. Takes you up the mountain. Mm. And when you get up there, you can – it's it's actually kind of cool. You get up there, and there's, there's these uh, – what do you call them? Vents. Okay. Volcanic, yeah, and, and they have like the steam rising from them. Yeah, from volcanic water. vents, yeah. right? It smells like sulfur yeah. and everything. Uh. And you can, you can go up and you can boil eggs hmm? in the volcanic water and they come out black. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, that's, 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 tamago or something, right? Yeah, so. that's, that's, that's kind of the famous thing there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've done that. That was, uh, yeah, I, I never went to Hakone because <laughs> I heard it was like such a tourist trap, but I. And I've been here for, she really tried to go sometime. I heard it's great because if you're a gaijin with tattoos, you can get into onsens there. But, I mean, I have tattoos, and I get to get into onsens anywhere. But then again, I'm a really good talker, so, you know, who knows about that. So, okay, well, let's get, let's get into the next part, which is um, personal part. So, um, oh, thanks for that. Um, so, do you have any fun stories about your time in prefecture? I have so many fucked up stories or funny stories of when I was in uh, just like you know for example when I got my car for the first time my friend sold it to me in Gunma and I had no practice driving a car ever on the left side of the road and I spent 12 hours of my first day ever driving on the highways in Japan and I almost got hit dude I was on a I was in I got off the exit and I was going 
And it's one of those lanes where it's like there's a divider and there's like the right side and the left side. And I went into the right side going ongoing by accident. It was it was fucked up. And I almost I almost died. Like I there's like a hundred cars like rush hour coming at me. I had to right, reverse right. and like poof, like, you know, just pull into this fucking side street or else I was gonna get hit. Like, oh my god. But that was um that was a fun story of when I was in Chiba coming back from Gunma. Um, I have so many interesting stories. Do you have any fun? Like, I know you. You're a guy who has probably thousands of stories. But I'm guessing, like, what's what's like some that immediately pop into your head? Don't need to be necessarily the best, but ones that yeah, pop you know, in your um, head. oh man, like you know, the the highlights for me, yeah, were like winning pool tournaments. You and... want to? You want a pool tournament here? I was a professional player, Sam. I know you said you're professional, but there's lots of professional players. I've won. I've won a lot of pool tournaments. How many? A lot. How many? Like over twenty, over fifty? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Over a hundred. No, not over seventy-five. Probably. Okay. Do you get prize money, or is it like a trophy you get, or is it just street cred, or? Uh, some some prizes are trophies, some are money. Mm. There's not enough money at this level. There's not really enough to be made. I mean, you got to be world class to, to you know, to, to get that. But yeah, I've yeah, I like, you know, my big highlight. I won the first, like the big Shizoka tournament. Okay. With like 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 a fifteen hundred dollar purse. Oh, and nice. I and I won that, and and I beat a guy that I shouldn't have beat. Well, did he just like? catch a cold or something the day before i don't know why his wife or something i, like, you know, I don't know just... why he choked but yeah. he choked i have no idea why choked bad and and, okay. and and i totally respect this guy yeah and we're good friends you know and i know that he's 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 tough to beat i shouldn't have beat him but i did and i never let it i never let him live it down nice take that <laughs> take that you son of a bitch um, god man you know uh jesus we uh Oh man, there's there's nothing coming up. Well, like for example, when I was in Tokyo, oh my god, I'm I'm gonna make it short, but basically, I flooded my whole apartment building. I was on the fourth floor. There's two two apartments per floor. I was on the top floor, and I flooded all the apartments below me because I burst a pipe. Because my the only place to put a washing machine was in my shower. And I accidentally, I'm a big guy, and I to pick up a washing machine is nothing to me because I got all this weight in my back. And so I pulled it up, and there was a faucet on the fucking wall, and I hit the faucet. Uh. I didn't see anything about it, and it, it didn't break the faucet on the outside, only the inside. So it was like 50 years since they had changed pipes, and it flooded all the fucking apartments, everyone's laptops, and everything got fucking flooded because of me. And the guy came, and he was super pissed, the, the, the owner of the building. But it wasn't just, it wasn't the owner, it was... His son, who was about my age, and I was watching Slam Dunk, the anime, when he came, and he was about to give me so much shit, and he's like, "You fuck, this Slam Dunk," and like, you know, I was like, "Yeah, I watched that," <laughs> and he, I was like, are, "Are we okay?" And he's like, "You got the insurance when you moved in, you signed for the thing, right?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh yeah, we're totally fine then." And I was like, "What about everyone else? Uh, they'll they'll cover it with insurance. It's fine." And and then the, it turned out the pipes were really old anyway, and so even if I didn't have insurance, I would have been on the fucking manager. But that was like my first. Like two weeks living in fucking Tokyo, dude. Uh, like after moving from Chiba, man. Like any embarrassing stories where you're like, I was I was on the train one night coming home from Shizuoka, <laughs> and these two guys got in a fight. They okay. started getting in a fight on the train. Yeah. And the one guy was a total douche. I mean, I could see the whole thing unraveling as I was sitting there, right? Both Japanese guys, right? Yeah, both Japanese guys. Um, and you know, I'm not a small person. Yeah. And they are. Yep. Um, well, we stopped. We actually stopped at Yaizu, and the doors opened up. And they were kind of like in that area where the doors are. Yeah. So I, I pushed them out the door. Pushed I one put, or both of them? I or? pushed them both off the door. I pushed, just I got behind them, and I just pushed them both off the train. And then the other guy I grabbed by his belt, and I pulled him back in. <laughs> and the doors closed, and we took off. So <laughs> kind of broke up that fight. You know, he, he thanked me for it. Um Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, man, my life's so boring. Well, did did I, you have any? Like, I suck, Sam. Come on, Molly. I know you got tons of shit in that in that little vault of theirs. You're just not. You're not. You're not giving me the good stuff. You're holding man, out for be, part there's two. There's got to be something, you know. Were there any like fights or possible death? I almost died in Chiba. Like, I mean, I've never actually died. So like, but I mean, I've obviously never died, but I mean, I almost died twice in Chiba, and like, I'll never forget that. I was riding a scooter, and out of nowhere, 
I was about to turn right, and if I had turned right, this big fucking semi truck would have come and just owned me. And he was quiet, like you you couldn't hear it. It was a ghost truck, and I almost fucking like if I had turned, I was literally turning right. But as soon as like I just looked through my mirror, and like last, if I had not looked at my mirror, I would have gotten hit, and I would have died right there. Uh, There's okay. Well, okay. The 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 most excitement, at, well, and this doesn't. This really doesn't apply to anybody. No, you know, this isn't going to happen with everybody. But I got to spend a week with Van Halen in Tokyo. Yeah, David Lee Roth lives in. No, no well, yeah, but this was on there. This is back in '98. So you got to hang out with Eddie and all the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how I'll, the fuck I'll, did that I'll, happen? I'll, I'll send you pictures of that. How, how um, the hell did that happen? Like, where you it, just? I, I met. I met his wife. Well, he was married to Valerie Bertinelli. I met her. Okay. The Van Halen, an online Van Halen fan club that I was, you know, a mailing list that I belonged to. Okay. And when they came over here, I got backstage passes and all access for the entire week. Wow. I saw three shows at the Budokan and the last one at Yokohama Arena. Um, I've got this right here, Sam. Uh, oh, shit. It's sitting right here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Um, I'll show you. you. You'll be able to see it. To, you can explain to people. This is the the bootleg DVD of the Yokohama Arena show. Okay, yeah, and it's in the uh, in the what you call it, uh, the song Jamie's crying. Yeah, they sing Molly's crying. Oh, oh wow, they sing Molly's crying in yeah. the video instead in the concert. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome! You should put that on your fucking channel, dude. That's I, fucking it is. nuts. It's up there. It's up there. Oh it's up man, there. just search Molly's crying. It's on there. That is fucking awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah. I fucking love, love Van Halen. I just love, like, tasty guitar riffs, and there's just nothing more palpable than just eating. Oh, shit. God. Oh, man. You guys didn't see it, but Oli just brought out a guitar, and it's very Van Halen related. Yes. You know, David Lee Roth lives in Shibuya, and he has, uh, like, Yakuza he... tattoos and shit. I thought he was in uh, Roppongi Hills. Oh, I didn't, I thought, last time I, like, checked online, I thought it was, he, I guess there's a couple places in Shibuya that he likes to go visit, apparently, but uh, okay. I don't know where he lives, but yeah, that was, that was, um, man, his voice is totally gone. I saw them for the, like, reunion stuff, I was like, oh, God, dude. I mean, oh, the really? Did, there. Did you go see him? No, no I, I saw just clips of it online, because, I don't oh, know, okay. I saw clips of what they sounded like. I was like, I want to go, but I don't want to hear... I want the memory to be good in my brain still versus just the, you know, you know, yeah, I, saw, I, saw, <laughs> I saw Dave, I saw David Lee Roth in Nagoya back in like 2004 or something, 2005. He was at yeah. a little club in Nagoya. We saw him down there, which was, you know, pretty cool. Um, I saw Van Halen in 95 or 96 in Tokyo and then saw him again in 98 where I got the, the week long thing with him. Um, been to a lot of concerts, Godsmack, Metallica, Motley Crue, Megadeth. You went to a yes. Motley Crue concert? Yeah, I, saw, uh, I actually had VIP passes for Motley Crue. Dude, I love, like, fucking air, hair, like, hair, like, 80s hair metal bands, fucking Motley Crue, fucking, uh, fucking Whitesnake, uh, Poison, fucking, uh, Rat. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That is my oh, jam yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Holy shit. Guys, guys gotta see this picture i'll yeah. send it to you yeah that is fucking awesome right there who are you with molly uh i think his name's mr edward van halen yeah yeah i don't know he looks kind of familiar i don't know who he is oh shit look at molly on stage at budokan playing eddie's guitar oh my god is that what you have is that a rec replica or is that his guitar no that's his guitar oh my god fucking that's molly. that that's on stage at the budokan you can see the <laughs> You can see the the seats and stuff behind me there, right? Yeah, the Budokan guys is like a very famous concert so, concert hall here in Tokyo. So, and you, Sam, so you like hair metal? You're familiar with the Panama video? Yeah. Fucking... And the bass player has that Jack Daniels bass. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Is that the original you, or is that one? Yeah, that they had yeah. Made can for can that? you see the drums up on stage behind me? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send these to you. I'll That's send these awesome. to you. That's awesome. I fucking love, like, that is my jam. You got me, get me, I mean, like, I even hate, like, I don't know, fuck. I even, like, like shitty, shitty fucking hair metal, like Wasp and stuff. They're not good, but I still Oh, like yeah, them. I love them. 
Uh, there, I don't know. I just can't get. I don't know. Oh rap. shit, Sam! I had no idea. Yeah, dude. That's why, like, like you know, I like I like many kinds of music, but that's uh, yeah, that's one thing that um, I'm very happy that Japan likes. You know, Japan's very, very loving towards those type of bands. It's great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, oh wait, so sorry, we got off on kind of a tangent here. Let's. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so anyway, Here's back on track, Sam. Yeah, yeah, back on track, people. So. Anyways, uh, aside from stories that you have from living here in Japan and Shikoka, um, what about how do you like working here? Like, how's your commute? Is it kind of shitty? I remember I had to commute an hour and a half because Chiba Prefecture is really fucking big. And, you know, it's kind of roll the dice when I was English teaching on where I'd be placed. And uh, I'd have to go bumper to bumper traffic five days a week for about three months at this one contract I had one time. And it was horrible, but what? A, but I loved the job. The job was great. It was in a brand new school. The kids and teachers were really nice. I never really had a bad teaching experience here in Japan. But what about you? I mean, how's how's work been for Molly? And how's your commute and stuff? Yeah, the school that I work at, uh, the element I, I teach in an elementary school. I don't did I did we say that before? Yeah, you taught. At, you say you taught in an uh, okay. elementary school, and you yeah, do I, privates I, as well. I, I teach elementary first and second grade. I okay. uh, love the little kids, man. They are so fun. Yeah. You know, they're, you know, Molly, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, I've got like an hour drive. Okay. Like back, like round trip or is it? No, just... one way. Ooh, okay. Yeah. That, that's why you see me live on Facebook a lot when I'm driving home. Cause I've got an hour drive. Is it? Um. But is... I've been doing this for like 13 years. So it's, you know. Are you working part time there, like only a couple days yeah. a week, or? No, I work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday in the mornings. Oh, okay. Uh, how's the? How did you get that job? Was it like through Ohio Sensei or through a friend of a friend or? Uh, a friend, a friend, yeah. A okay. friend was leaving. You want my job? Sure. Okay. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, um, like, what's I mean, but the commute is it is it bumper to bumper or is it kind of like? straight through or uh it's 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 pretty it goes pretty smooth it takes me it's about an hour drive um it's you don't hit much traffic we usually take the highway mm. we get on the toll mango rather than take the lower streets because we would hit a lot of traffic yeah um so yeah we you know we skip a lot of it going that way and my wife works up that way too so i drop her off at work and then i go oh, okay so it's it's a good mix for all that yeah what yeah a, what about um so how do you like uh what is it? Have you ever have you worked any like Japanese jobs where or any jobs in general where you didn't have to use English ever? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. The the after the the first year I was here, I was working at that Akaiwa. Yeah. And I thought at the time that I was going to go back to the states. Mm. And I was like, "Man, I didn't learn any Japanese while I was here." Yeah. And I was like, "Well, we don't we're not really planning on going back right now, so maybe I should get on this." Mm. And I'm not one to study. Yeah. I don't I don't like to crack the books. Yeah. Me neither. So it's sink or swim with me. Mm. So I quit my job at the at the Akaiwa. Yeah. I got a job in a in a warehouse. Okay. Yeah, loading pallets, driving a forklift, you know, making pallets. Wow. You know, loading trucks. You know, I was I did that for like a year. Mm. Um I did bartending for a while. Um I drove Daiko. You, you okay? I know what Daiko is. Can you tell everybody what Daiko is in Japan? Okay. Well, it's a very word, Japanese thing. Yeah, the word Daiko is actually substitute. So, like you could say, like a substitute teacher would be a Daiko Sensei. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the the basically when they say Daiko, they're talking about this taxi system, where let's say Sam and I are partners. You know, we got a little car. Yeah. And uh, we'll get a call from the company, and they'll say, "Hey, go run to this bar and pick up this customer." And, we run out there, and uh, one one of us would drive the customer's car, and the other one would follow them. And we why would get... we be driving a customer's car though, Molly? Why would we be going out there to begin with? So they're not drinking and driving. Oh, okay. So instead of calling a taxi to come pick them up, they don't want to leave their car at the right. Izakaya. They didn't intend right. to drink, but they ended up drinking anyway, and they don't want right. to leave their car there. So they call us, and you drive there. You drive them home, and I follow. Okay, so you you drive their car for them, and then they just hang out in the car while we drive them back to their place. Right, 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 yep. right, right. I had to do that like maybe twice when I lived in Chiba because the places were so far away from my house. Mm -hmm. 
I think 30, 30 bucks or so. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, yeah I did that for about two years. Um, oh, wow. That's awesome. I, for the most part, I didn't drive the customer's car. Oh, okay. um, it was, you know, guy jeans stay, mm. you know, a lot of people were like, you know, they'd come over to pay and they have to come up to me. Right. Yeah. And a lot of people like, Oh shit. You know, <laughs> and I roll down <laughs> the window and they see me. Um, but in that time there was one customer, uh, he was a dentist and he had like a slew of cars, okay. nice cars. And nice. I got, I got to drive his Ferrari. Oh shit. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty cool. And we got this one street here. It's like straight, like for like two miles. And it's, you know, two o'clock in the morning. We're driving him home and he's like, open it up. I'm like, all right. (laughs) Fuck yeah. Oh, man. I need to get my manual driver's license here. I only have automatic. Fuck. Got to do that. That's awesome, dude. Hell yeah. Hell to the fuck yeah. So 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 the only so the only chance I ever had to drive a Ferrari and a, a Mercedes was doing that job. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I don't think you really need that in Tokyo, but I should look in. I was thinking about that the other day because I have permanent residency. You have permanent residency too, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And yeah. so I was thinking, I was going through the town work, hello work, and I was looking for Baitos just because I'm I'm making money, uh, like enough money through English teaching and translating, but I'd like to do something where I'm more just involved with Japanese people where it has nothing to do with my English skill. And now that yeah. I have a visa, pretty much a stash that can allow that, I yeah. want to yeah, try exactly. shit like exactly. that. That's and, awesome. Uh, I worked in a pool hall, obviously. Oh, obviously. Um, obviously. And I, I did some part-time work at the guitar shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, repairs and stuff like that. Um, oh, you can re- – oh, cool. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I've, and then I got back into teaching because that's where the money is. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, to be fair, a lot of people talk shit about English teaching, but I actually like it. I, I never too. hated I never hated English teaching. Me neither. I hated the bureaucracy and the fucking management treating – like us, like you know, endangered servants, pretty much. But I didn't, you know. Wrong. I loved... What? <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. What do you? Oh yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Like what? You know. <laughs> no, I, I agree with you. I agree. But I, I no, no, no. I no. I love the system. I love. I love teaching. I don't know. I just. I like teaching. I like. I like being able to be exposed to different types of personalities. I like to have that legit feeling of helping people. When I was a salary man, I didn't get that at all. I'm just in front of a desk. I don't see any. The changes that I help implement. Okay, click, click, click. You know, just well, you know, with me, them. I teach the I teach the little kids, like they're yeah. six, seven years old. Yeah. And I tell you what, man. No matter what kind of pissy mood you're in, mm. when you get around those kids, you you can't keep that mood. You know, they yeah, just yeah, right. The energy, man. They're just they're just so cool. They're mm. awesome. So so we covered <laughs> awesome stories, and we talked about your work. Well, can you tell us? What about the place that you're currently in right now? Because you told me, like, you love your current house. Like, can you just tell me more about, like, if you can possibly go into details about, like, how much it is rent-wise and where where were you located, how big it is? You know, what particularly do you like about it? This is all about your house love time. I know this was coming up, so. Okay. I Okay, I don't live in an apartment. I live in a house. How many stories? Uh, two floors. Okay. Uh, the first floor, we've got the, the, the entranceway, the gang con, right? Yeah. The shower and the bathroom. Then we've got a living room, a dining room, and a kitchen downstairs. Yeah. Okay. Probably about total 20-some tatami size total. Okay. On the first floor, on the, the living and dining. I think it's probably Jujo, Jujo, and then the kitchen. Wow. That's pretty right. fucking wide, guys. Yeah. And then the room that I'm in now mm. is over the carport. Okay. So it's what they call the Chunikai, which is between the first and second floor. Okay. Um, and then up upstairs, we've got three bedrooms, uh, eight tatami, six tatami, and six tatami. And then there's a veranda that goes around the in the entire side of the house. So you have like a huge bottom floor, which is basically your living room, your, well, I mean your garage, like your living room and mm-hmm. your kitchen and like the bathroom or like showers there too i yeah, guess shower and the toilet down there yeah and then in between the first and second floor you have your awesome big room that you're in this right now. this is my my man cave yeah man yeah. cave and then on the second floor you actually you have three other fucking huge six foot or six to tommy six to tommy eight to tommy bedroom yeah yeah you son of a bitch okay what do you fill those things with like you know okay the one room is our bedroom hmm? that's the eight to tommy room and we've yeah. got a we've got an american queen size bed Mm, nice with a sealy mattress um that's a 
fucking 400,000 yen investment right there. Yeah. Well, you know, but, hey, sleep one third of your life, right? And it's yeah, okay right. to invest. Uh, the room in the back is basically Tomoko's closet. Okay. Women, so, you know, women. Yeah, yeah, it's got all her stuff in there. Okay. And then this front room is for when people visit. Mm. Um, we just, it's kind of, we use it like a spare bedroom or she'll do her ironing in there. Um, I've got a weight bench set up. I see you got a bench behind you. I've got a bench set up. Yep. Um, I don't have, I don't have the, the barbell. Yeah. Um, I've got, I've got the Bowflex dumbbells. Okay. The ones you dial them in and. Oh, okay. I just got the cheap ones from Amazon. That was, they have the normal just metal bar and put the weight on right. kind of thing. These yeah. are, you just, you dial the weight you want and pick it up. Oh, yeah. those were really expensive. I saw that for like 600 bucks or whatever on Amazon. Yeah, I was making money when I bought them. Boom, bitches. Boom. Yeah, Cash yeah, money, yeah. money. Blow the money. <laughs> um, I wish you could see my guitar rack right here next to me. Um, you can send me a picture of that later if you want. I could. Yeah, let's, uh, okay. So, so, um, so yeah, so that's the, that's the house. We've mm -hmm. got the, the one car, uh, uh, parking well it's the under the under the under this room yeah carport that's the word mm -hmm. and then so her car's in there and then i park down the street we've got like a, there's a little parking lot and i pay like three thousand yen okay for a parking space nice um my rent none of my yen seventy thousand dollars roughly seven hundred dollars Se guys yeah yeah a month holy shit i pay for an entire house. God damn. I pay like fifteen hundred and I have like less than one third of yeah, what you do. Yeah. Shit, dude. Yeah. Fuck. Uh this this house is owned by a friend of mine. Mm hmm And so we don't we didn't have to go through uh a real estate agent or anything. They were they were they were moving and we, we ran into him. We were out shopping one day and we ran into him. We're like, Hey, how you been? Long time no see, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Oh, we're moving, we're moving up to wherever they moved to. What are you guys going to do with your house? You selling it? Renting it? Oh, if you rent it, let us know. Oh. And I was like, but the rent that we're paying now, we really can't pay more than that. Okay. And uh, they called us a couple weeks later. Could you take care of our house? We sure can. You guys don't have to pay any contract renewal fees or anything like that? No, no, nothing like that. How, how many years have you been in that house for? Um, I want to say... Seven, seven years. Wow, something like that. Yeah, I think I think I think that's about right. And no plans of moving. You like it? Yeah, we like it. They're not coming back, you know. And then anything like, you know, my 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 air conditioner went out. They bought me a new air conditioner. Uh, anything that needs to be fixed, they pay for it. Um, any, you know, I, we've got a tree out front that's you know getting pretty high, and they called me. Can you trim the tree? Mm. Okay, and I'll go out and trim the tree, and they get a free month's rent. Oh, really? Yeah, because well, I fucking... Cause, well, yeah. if they called somebody to do it, mm. you know? Well, I mean, my tree right now, actually, in front of my house is really tall, and I actually had the police come up to me, and they're like, You're, it's going to... If on a windy day, it could hit the fucking... Uh, the, the, the telephone, power well, the power yeah. lines, and start a fire. And I called my stupid Connery Geisha... And they're like, yeah, we'll get somebody in November. It's already like the beginning of January. I gotta call him again from tomorrow and tell him to cut who, the tree. Who do you call? Uh, I mean, my Connery Geisha, the 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 managing company, the Oyasan. Like, you know, just call them, um, or call See, the what owner. We're, what we're gonna do right now, and I don't know how many people know this. Um, yeah. Do you know the Silvers? Okay, you can you can go to the you can go to the city hall. Yeah. And get yard work and stuff taken care of by the silvers, the old people um, that they give extra jobs to. And it's like 2,000 yen or, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's kind of tall. They got to cut the cut the brand. It's pretty high. It's like almost like three stories. My house is two stories and it's almost two and a half stories. The goddamn tree has grown so much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah, keep that in mind. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, you know. But, Check uh, out the silvers at the, at the Shiok show. So, okay, thanks for that. I'm gonna definitely go and check that out. Then I'll call the. I can actually call the. Mm -hmm. We live in. I live in Tokyo, so there's no Shiok Show. There's no City Hall. There's a Ward Office. Kuyak yeah, and, and there's possible possible no Silvers. You know? Yeah, right. Well, I mean, either way, I shouldn't have to pay for it. I'm not. I'm renting. I shouldn't. I'm not. I didn't buy the house. You know, it's not right. my responsibility. But anyway, that's uh, that's more talk for later. But so. Yeah. 
Let's um get us back on track, Sam. Yes, yep, yeah. We're going, we're going. Hold on, beep, beep. You know. <laughs> so what? What are your future plans, Molly? Are you going to stay there, or are you you plan on moving at all at some point, or would you like? You know, are you uh, are you liking Shizuoka? And would you recommend people living there? I would not live anywhere else. I have no plans to go back to the states. Um, I've I've told people over and over I'm going to die here. Yeah. Um, the only thing that would take me back is if I had to go back because of my mom or something. Um, but even then, I would try to get her to come here. Get on the plane, bitch. You Is there know? any way to get them to do that besides a three-month visa? I don't know. Like old people? Probably if you have money, I guess. Do that or something. What's, uh, so what, but would you recommend new people who want to come and live in Japan that are coming on jet or whatever and they have okay, a choice? If, if you're, you, you could do worse, okay? Yeah. If you're in, you know, if you're like where I'm at, I'm mm. 20 minutes outside the city by train. So it's not too bad. You know, it was good for me when I was younger because although, yeah, when, okay, when I was in my 20s, you know, we'd go out drinking and it'd start getting, oh, we got to get the last train. Yeah. Fuck, you know, the night's just starting. Uh, so there were a lot of nights, you know, yeah, I'm sure you've done it, uh, drink until the trains start running in the morning. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. do that anymore, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I used to do that. Um uh, yeah, you know, Shizuoka is a good place. If, if you like to be, if you like to be active and go out and do things, you'd want to be in the city. You wouldn't want to be, you wouldn't want to be out, you what know, if you like, but, what but, if but you that's like, standard anywhere, you know? Well, what about if you like nature? You know, a lot of people, some oh, people sure. are very big nature nuts. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you, you could do a lot worse than here. Yeah. A lot of stuff here, you know, like Fuji and all the mountains and yeah. Well, is there, so, um, for that. is there any reasons why somebody shouldn't move to Shizuoka? I guess if they don't want to live in nature and they want to live in the city or something, right? That's my prefection, motherfucker. Get the hell out. Locals only. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. Um, no, no I, would, I, would, I wouldn't say there's any reason not to move here. Yeah. No, I mean, like, you know, when I lived in Chiba, um, like in the countryside, I lived in a place, actually, it's the same name as Naruto anime, but it was boring. All they had was a mega donkey, and there wasn't really any sights to see except rice fields and mega donkey. There is one thing. Yeah. And this affects you too. Oh God. Even where you're at oh, no. is out here in the fucking bay. These the tsunamis where the, where the, where, where the plates come together. Yeah. That's, that's right Shizuoka, here. Right. Yeah. That's yeah, right. That's Shizuoka. right here. And we're, uh, we're like a hundred, we're like 60 years past the, oh, in the big Kanto for, plane. You mean for the, the big for earthquake the, that's the, supposed the to Tokai hit Kanto. Jishin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for we're all like, of you guys who don't know, there's a big earthquake that happens almost every hundred years or so in Japan, and we're 160 years overdue for one, which should yeah. come every hundred years or so. The last one was in 1923-ish, I think, and it killed a bunch of people in Tokyo. And uh, no, that that wasn't the Tokai though. What wasn't the Tokai? What was the no? But that was but that was a big earthquake. That was the Tokyo earthquake. Yeah. But the Tokai earthquake is like every 108 years. Okay. And we're like 60 years past that. Okay. Yeah, so it could happen at any time. Like if it happened right now, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a surprise. Um, mm. Do you have I, an do you have an emergency earthquake kit? Yes. In case I need to make one. I it's in my one car. Yet. It's in my car. What do you have in it? Uh man, it's like one of them it's it's pathetic. My friend had one. He had Snickers bars, toilet paper, and a notebook. That's all he yeah, had. Yeah, I, I plan on stealing things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Looting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. American way. Woo. Yeah. Um, dead. Yeah, you know, we've got, a, we've got like a water server here in the house. So we've got like boxes of like 12 liter bottles of water. And we keep extras here just in case. Okay. Um, and then we keep a, you know, a little safety bag in the car. It's got stuff in it. Because I figure, you know, if worse comes to worse, we're, you know, we have to, well, if, you know, if we're not crushed and dead, you know, we'll probably have to live in the car for a while. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to crushed or killed. Okay, yeah, man, so... look at all those fucking books behind you, man. That's going to be a fucking mess when this place starts rocking and rolling. Yeah, that's going to be not pretty. But I mean, for me, like, uh, on purpose, everything in my house I bought cheap or used uh, right. or I got for free. So if any of this shit went down, I wouldn't like it. I mean... I have all these tiny little things like my microphone and like my web camera and like my yeah. customized PC. But at the end of the day, it's just stuff, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. 
but I mean, still, it took a lot of time to fucking accumulate this stuff. But if I need to get rid of it, or if something happens, as long as I have enough money to pay for a hotel or something, and uh, yeah, I should make a fucking earthquake. Uh, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, you should. You should have something ready. Um, although I suspect that uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna experience it. Not not while we're alive. Maybe I hope not. I hope not. Like we had a six point six here the year before the big earthquake. Oh yeah, yeah up, okay. up north. Yeah, uh, a a year before, like eight months before that. Six. Uh, let's see, it was August. So how many months is that? Four, five, six, like seven months before that. Mm. We had a six point six earthquake here in Shizuoka. Oh, okay, I like totally forgot like about that. Five yeah. o'clock in the morning. Yeah, mm-hmm. that that'll that'll wake your ass up. So like if. Well, uh, shit, man. Anywhere you go here, if if you, if you don't want to be involved in earthquakes, don't come to Japan. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter where you're at. You're gonna. Did you guys feel it. the big one in two thousand? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we felt it. Yeah, that was not fun. No. <laughs> I did you see my video on that earthquake? My mom yeah. fell in my toilet and everything. Yeah. I was, I was in shock. I was literally. I've never seen myself so scared on camera before. And I just knew I was like. I was like, I gotta film this because if I die, I want something to like. Yeah, right. People can find and be like, he was my best friend. You know, I don't yeah. know. So I was at school and I was sitting at my desk and I kind of felt like, Jesus, I'm dizzy. And I'm like, wait a minute, is that an earthquake? And I said to one of the <laughs> teachers, I said, is that an earthquake? And he says, no, no. And then it started rolling, right? Yeah. And we were like, oh shit. And we had to go out. We had to go out on the school ground. Luckily, it was at the time of the school year where the students were only coming in the morning. Mm, okay, so, so most of the students had gone home. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, it happened in the afternoon. I remember. Yeah, yeah. but we had to go out to the ground anyway, and we mm. didn't have our jackets. It was fucking mm. cold, and then we had to, you know, we came in and watched the tsunami roll in on the TV. Jesus, horrifying. Let's change mm. subject. Yeah. Well, I mean, just to give you guys some context, because like I've been, I you know, we've both been in Japan for a while, but normal earthquakes, they feel like if you've ever sat in front of in a building. And there was a, uh, and there's some like construction or something going on, or if like maybe like something big like a refrigerator fell, it feels like that. It just feels like the or the building's kind of vibrating. But when that earthquake happened, I was in a place that's basically the equivalent of the mix of the Mexican space shuttle. It just shook like crazy, and it wasn't just like a shake. It was like putting a marble in a cardboard box and then moving the cardboard box around. You couldn't get any footing. And uh, it was scary. You felt like the building was kind of bump, 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 like yeah. going up from corner to corner. So not a fun. It's you know, hey, everyone should try it. Go ahead, go and yeah. get your own earthquake experience. But um, with that thought in mind, yeah, if you're going to be in a natural disaster, this is the place to be. Yeah, they, they, and, they and don't there are and, they don't fucking do yeah, and there are like no that. places that are safe from natural disasters. There's something some no matter where you go. And as far as the earthquakes are concerned. Modern buildings, they have the strictest building codes in this country than any. Mm-hmm. So the chances of a place collapsing on you are slim. Yes. Unless you're living in a really old place. Yeah. Okay. So they, yeah, so that's, yeah, I agree. Like um, they have this TV, this anime in case for people, because it's to simulate the big earthquake if it ever happens in Tokyo. And it's a, it's a series called Tokyo Magnitude 8.0 or something. It's supposed to be... Because normal... The, the one in um, Miyagi was like 7.0 or something, I think. Or no, was it... It was like 5.9 or 7. The big one? Yeah, the big one in Miyagi or Fukushima. That was... I forgot the, the, how big the, that was. The Tohoku earthquake? Yeah, the Tohoku that earthquake. That was a 9. That was a 9, yeah. So yeah. this... This one, this uh, this anime series called like 8.0 or 9.0, like yeah. Tokyo Magnitude, and I'll admit, um, it catches you because it's like it shows. I love anime that's realistic, you know, kind of like Ghibli stuff where it's like real emotions, what people would deal like. You'd be like, oh, I'd be in that situation. I get that, but uh, in that one, uh, it talks about like in Tokyo if a big natural earthquake happened, how shit would, I like you know play out, and it's very realistic. But um, I it's it's one of those ones where it makes you cry at the end and I I didn't see that coming and I just cried like a baby. I haven't cried like this since like old yeller or something. I was like, "Oh, the dog died." Like it was something horrible like that, but it's uh well, it's, if, it's great uh simulator video if, for that. If you if you're in if you come to Shizuoka, mm-hmm. uh it's in Shizuoka City. You could probably walk there from the train station. It would take a little while. Probably be about a 20-30 minute walk to get down there or you could take a cab. Uh go to the Bosai Center. Bosai Center, okay. Yeah, which which is the earthquake mm. preparation center, right? Mm. And they've actually got like the simulation machines and everything that you can oh, get into. Oh God, yeah, I, I've seen yeah, those. And they, yeah, they ramp that fucker up, man. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> fun. Yeah. Yeah, you get your own like uh, earthquake simulator room. It's awesome. 
Yeah, and they got a on the floor when you walk in. They've got this huge map of the Shizuoka area, right? Mm. And it and the map is kind of I, I don't know how they they've got it they've got it drawn so you can see like a ten meter tsunami would go this far, twelve tsunami would go this far, fifteen okay. would go this far. Yeah, mm. so my my house is at the thirteen meter mark. So if we get a thirteen meter tsunami. It'll reach here. Yeah. Well, is there any place to run away to, like a higher hill or something oh, yeah, from there? Yeah, yeah. There's a man. There's a hill right across the street here. Oh, okay. Well, then you're, I've then got, you're all square. You're I've, good. I've got two rice fields and then a hill. I'm oh, up. Okay. Um, oh, good. And then you reach the high ground. Yeah. You know? And then there's another place just back over here. I mean, if if I can get my if I can get to my car, mm-hmm. that I want to get my car out of here, right? So yeah, go go up there. And here I can't go up by car because it's just a it's mountain. Just, okay. So so Molly. With all that being said, what's uh, what's your future plans, man? What do you want? I mean, I like you. I don't know if you felt that way after ten years, but I love Japan. I've always loved oh, Japan. I want to stay yeah. here till I die too. But yeah, what yeah. are you? What are your future plans, Molly? From here, like, what's stuff that you haven't accomplished or that you'd like to do that you still haven't done yet while you're from now? Well, you know, I just uh, I'd like to get myself financially in a position where we could get our own house. Oh, you want to buy a house? Yeah, you know, I'd like to have my own place, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, then again, I'm almost fifty years old, you know. So, like, how much time do I have? I mean, I'm sure I've got plenty of time left. But when it comes to buying a house, yeah, you know, like that's 30 not thirty-year commitment kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me; I'm not going to live to be eighty. You know, yeah, sure um, you are. Sure you are, buddy. <clears throat> you got years ahead of me, man. You know, I'd, I'd like to. You know, I'd like to have my own home. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry, man. That's, you know, I just... Uh, what about, like, you know, being bigger on YouTube or, like, making a podcast in the future? It could be something small, like, you know, going into more pool tournaments or, you know, what about your band? Do you want to tour tour Tokyo, a tour around the world? Yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to play more gigs with my band, you know. Um, we didn't play at all last year because of, you know, the shit that went down with me in the hospital and everything. Oh, yeah. Um, so we didn't, we didn't play it, but... Uh, we're actually getting together this Saturday for a gig on February 12th. So first time playing in over a year and we've got a new drummer coming in. So that'll be fun. Um, what's your band's name? Magic. And it's spelled M A J Y K. Just like magic Johnson. Not at all. Well, it's, <laughs> no, uh, it's not at all. Like magic Johnson. Uh, M- the M A J Y K yeah. is actually uh, Matsuoka. Jim Yuichi Koji. Oh, okay. Yeah. So nice. just yeah. Um, our drummer is a 27 year old girl, okay. but nice. she's she's kind of busy right now. I actually I work with her at the school. Um, oh, okay. She's busy at the moment, so we're getting somebody else to sit in for for this for this gig. Um, there is a there is a Magic Japan page on Facebook. Okay, I'll be sure to if you send me the link later, I'll be sure to link it in the okay. description down below. Um, so yeah, that's that's about all that's coming up. Uh, yeah, man, I just want to be happy. Yeah, right. Me too. You know? Me too. It's, it's bullshit. Why can't we just be happy? <laughs> I want to be. I want to be young again. <laughs> I want a toilet made of gold. And I want a shit silver. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, right. Exactly. I, well, I mean, like, you know, me, I, I have a lot of different things I'd like to try, but number one, I just want to try doing this YouTube thing more, and that's one of the reasons why I asked uh, you and, uh, you know, at least, like, 10 other people right now at the moment. I don't have 47 people, but I got you and plus 10 people at the moment, so, you know, I'd like to I'd like to just give perspectives about Japan that I don't see at all. Like, I did a video on per- how to get permanent residency and, like, self-sponsoring visas, and, like, no one made a video about that. I was just sick and tired of, like, waiting for somebody to do it, so I did it, you know? And it's, like, right. I just want to show, like, a cool kind of, like, original, you know, perspective on Japan that's actually useful and helps people. Right. Um, And also say fuck a lot and have that be, like, that was really informative, but why did he have to cuss so much, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, so, I mean, like, Sonny, or, I mean, uh, Molly, like, you can... um. So I mean, now's the part of the of the podcast where we're kind of winding down. It's getting to the end. Is there any stuff you'd like to plug? So you want to plug your YouTube channel, which is Molly. Well, I tell you t- what. Um, if anybody's interested, all links to everything are www.mullysplace.com. Mullysplace.com. That'll yeah. be down in the links below. Yeah. Uh, YouTube, Instagram, Vine, Twitter. Uh, my 
my podcast is hosted there. Um, yeah, it's all there. Okay. Everything. Are there is there anything else that you like to shout out or friends places friends channels that you like to shout out to? We already shouted out Softy Papas. His Ch- stuff check out my buddy below. Tikio Sam. <laughs> oh, oh really? Who's that guy? He sounds sexy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, just some last minute announcements. If you're not already doing it, please consider following us on social media, links down below. Big thank you to everybody who clicked on the podcast to listen today. Do us a favor, and if you liked this podcast, help us grow by smashing that like button, subscribe button, and subscribe bell to get notified when the new podcast comes out. Did you learn something new on today's podcast? Do you want to hear more? Which out of these three prefectures should we do a podcast on next? Let us know by emailing us at tikiosam at gmail.com. If you are listening to this in your car and you want to conserve your phone data, consider following us on the other podcast platforms. We are currently on iTunes, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Links down below. Like always, this wouldn't be a Tikio Sam production without giving a special sweet thank you slash shout out to all of the Tikio Sam fam who support us over on patreon.com slash Tikio Sam. Without your support, this podcast would be much harder to produce. Thank you all so much for the support. That's it for this month's Prefecture Podcast. What did you think of it? Good? Bad? Let us know in the comment section down below. Finally, we are always looking for new people to interview on this podcast. If you check out the video description below, you can find out what Prefecture we still need to find people to interview for. If you know somebody, let us know by emailing us at tikyosam at gmail.com. Like always, this has been the Where or Come From Japan podcast. Thank you all for watching, and most importantly, stay black.